Fitness enthusiasts. So they may now be worried about the potential side effects of a spinning class. Come on, come on, three, come on, come on. Climb that mountain, come on, yeah, come on. Is spinning supposed to feel like you're having a heart attack? It sure feels like it. What are we here for? Come on, make it burn. So if you <laughs> feel like you're having a heart attack while you're taking a spinning class, no, you should not feel that way. You should go to the doctor yeah. as yes. ASAP. But what's interesting is a study looked at a group of participants after an hour of a very vigorous spinning class. They tested their blood and troponins, which is the level, a troponin is an enzyme in your heart muscle and it's released when you have a heart attack. Well, these participants after an hour of vigorous spinning, they had elevated troponin levels just like they had had a heart yeah, attack. That's a heck of a spin class. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it begs yeah. the question, if someone comes into the ER after taking a spinning class, if they have an elevated troponin level, do I ha am I having to worry that they've had a heart attack yeah, or really. not? Well, right. well, if somebody comes into the ER with chest pain and you're doing that workup, do you usually ask them if you've just done a spinning class or some vigorous exercise? He like will that? now. Well, I can tell <laughs> I mean, you, if someone just... had, if someone took a spinning class and they were having chest pain and they had elevated yeah. troponin oh, no. levels, like yeah. Yeah. I would treat them like yeah. they're like they like they yeah. yeah. But I think a lot of people in the spinning class, it's not that they feel chest pain, they feel the rapid heart rate. There's a difference, mm -hmm. okay? It gets so, you going. It gets, yeah. Right, so oh, the yeah. rapid heart rate is something different than the chest pain. If they say we're feeling chest pain either in the chest or down the arm, then obviously you're thinking maybe something, something more severe, yeah. But right. would you guys agree that if you are taking a spinning class and you're taking it up to the level and you're not used to it, you're taking it to such a high level that you're leaking your component. heart muscle enzymes, yeah. you may want to back yeah. off. This to me reminds me of those triathletes who run the Ironman, mm -hmm. who at the end of it all, they develop Collapse. what's called rhabdomyolysis, mm -hmm. where they leak CPK into right. their bloodstream. Yeah, it... Really, really vigorous activity that you're not used to can be harmful to your body. I mean, we all know that, right? Gradually. Mm -hmm. Build yeah, up the gradual strength. build up. Yeah, That's the way to do it. You know, the worst thing is after like these great sporting events and people get excited, whether it's Wimbledon or the Super Bowl or whatever it is, and people want to go out and become, you know, active Weekend right away. Warriors. Weekend warriors, and they just jump into something, and they, mm -hmm. and you in the ER, you see this, you know, all these great cases of people who just all of a sudden were doing nothing, they didn't want to do something too fast, so it's about... And then they're well, too sore, age, and they can't walk for a week. That's right. And my age, a man must know his limitations. That's right. You have no limitations. And I have hit that point. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but also those boot camps and things like that that push people past their, their comfort zone. If your body's telling you, this is too much, you need to actually listen to that because mm -hmm. it's trying you to do a signal. Yeah.